Hello, all, and welcome back to High Freeze Reacts to Ruby Volume 7, Chapter 8. Cordially invited. Hey, right, let's see what's happening here. I I really do wonder how Ironwood is going to handle this. How Ironwood is going to handle everything, you know? With this and how everything is going to go. It's just like... We've got maybe four episodes left. Possibly five. Maybe another eight if this somehow ends up... Going for the first season's episode number. How much fun would, uh... Okay, partially it's understandable that this is a shorter episode, given what's happening. Given it's going to be about a dinner, but... You could double that time and use the other half to do... I don't know. Character moments between anybody. I, I will continue to complain about that. Like, I love this show, but that is one of the main problems. They don't have enough time to try to do the story as well as they could. And at this point, that's their own fault, nobody else's. Early on, yeah, they didn't have the money, they didn't have the budget, they didn't have anything. But yeah. Speaking of, the problem with watching Ruby videos on YouTube is that you get always end up getting those jackasses in there. Only my father would turn a hostile takeover into a fluffy PR move. <sighs> on the news, he said he just wanted to break bread and hash things out. Maybe it won't be so bad. But I do want the general to start opening up to these people, right? Yeah, but on his terms, Ironwood's going to be locked in a room at his rival's own dinner party. Jock <coughs> says he's happy to moderate, but all that really means is he'll be the one controlling the conversation. <coughs> Not hard to imagine yep. how that's gonna play out. I still can't believe he won. Robin was supposed to be the people's champion, wasn't he? <coughs> There's just too many coincidences. Yeah, Maybe even they think. Dad might have something to do with Salem. Yep. I think my father would do whatever it takes to win, and we should do the same. Meaning. Well, no one knows your dad better than you, and out of everyone going tonight, I'd say you're the only one who could snoop around the house and not be questioned. If Jacques Schnee is up to something, I think we should know what it is. That's actually no reason. I mean, as much of a, of a, uh, Quintly as a mini-me, We should smile for the camera. I'm not even sure if he's uh beyond board with how things are going. I mean, I, obviously, I don't think he likes Watts. Hey, everyone's there. Where's Klein? What an interesting way to say hello, dear brother. How have you been? <laughs> that was fun. You won't find him here. He was let go. I can't imagine why. Uh oh. General, exactly how large do you think our diamond That's sad. I'm glad I'm looking forward to seeing Klein again. Enormous, but most of my guests I forgot about it until after the episode, but yes. Yeah. Until then, I'm sure they'll be happily celebrating your father's victory. <laughs> anyway, yeah. I, I was complaining about uh, uh, the, the people who... Uh, who make their entire YouTube uh, stuff thing about shitting on Ruby, Please follow me. spreading lies and misinformation Wish us luck. I mean, in order to justify their hatred, blah blah blah. I literally see a hero high vi vid. I, I mean, I'm naming it now. I'm gonna stop mentioning uh, something about uh, no, 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 roaster teeth falling apart. Ruby fans, beware! Like 
Jesus Where fucking Christ. These people now? have nothing right, else to um, do. Don't wander off, don't break anything, and be ready in case the general calls on you. Orders? Let's see yeah. them out of house and home. <laughs> Counterpoint, how about we do wander off, consider breaking things, and then all that other stuff. I'll be in touch. <laughs> Dear sister, I was hoping we could use this time to catch up. Oh, I have to know. Why did you go through so much trouble to leave home, only to come crawling back? <sighs> this might be a problem. General Ironwood. <laughs> please. Uh, all right. Have a seat. <clears throat> Councilman Sleet. Councilwoman Camilla. Councilwoman Hill would have had a nice room to it. Though I suppose I should just be grateful I got invited to the table. <laughs> I was not- wait, what? Hold on, that actually has to make me pause. He actually invited her? You smug dickhole! I, I, to be frank, you gotta- I think uh, this is definitely gonna be at least something for uh Blake and Yang's action, because I don't think she'd be even remotely as civil if she didn't have at least a version that Ironwood wasn't out to kill her. That Penny didn't do anything. Like, oof. The of yours is precisely why we're grateful to have you with us tonight. What is she doing here? What we're all doing here, James. Addressing the concerns of our kingdom. Which means we have much Trying to, to frame discuss. himself as the good Indeed. guy. Again. I was hoping we could start. Are oh. safe with her here, by the way? I do recall some confusion regarding her involvement in that horrific massacre. As you the fucking asshole. Stated, I will fucking punch you through the screen. I will figure out how. Reason. You leave... You believe that precious in her on her own. Concerning? Let's talk about exactly what it is you control. <sighs> Why won't this kid buzz off? We need to do something. What was that early <laughs> breaking things? Nora is just getting more and more eager to do shit. They're going to cause a kerfluffle. Ah. Well, Whitley, I'm sure the company is lucky to have you. But if you'll pardon me... And where exactly is it that you're going? Careful! Food coming See, this is actually Nora, so I can actually... Anyone who's ever met her could actually completely buy what she's doing. <laughs> oh no. for the past few years, James. But what we need now is for you to work with us. Sir, I have- It's obvious that no kingdom intends to declare war on Atlas. We had no involvement in the incident at Haven. We have proof our drones weren't acting on orders at Beacon. Oh, interesting, Cass. to hurt our relations with the rest of the world. I- The rest of the world? It's hurting us. The people of Atlas are suffering. And they want to know why. Quite right, Miss Hill. And I'm afraid there's more than just your choices that have brought harm to our citizens as of late. 
Have your forces found any additional evidence as to who is slaughtering innocent civilians down in Mantle? That is an ongoing investigation. The details of which are classified, I'm afraid. I'm afraid of the ever-growing list of classified information you seem to be keeping. I asked our fellow councilmen here to shed some light on your Amity Coliseum project, and as it turns out, they know about as much as I do. Even you don't know? The Amity Project will help with all of the issues you present, but you have to understand that discretion is a top priority at this time. Are you saying you don't trust us? You can't just buy trust like everything else! You have to earn it! Woo! I couldn't have said it better. Unfortunately. Oh, dear. Unfortunately. That was playing into his hands. Ugh, I want to wring his neck. If I may be blunt, you have spent what little trust this council had left in you. The hacker who turned Atlas drones against us was never captured. Whoever's been murdering your critics is still at large. How are we supposed to give you our trust when you've given us nothing as of late? That's not what- Winter. That's enough. Excuse me. I repeat, hugs! Yeah, so many characters in the show need hugs. Mishni? Is everything okay? I'm fine, thank you. Keep up the great work. Carrying empty uh, wine glasses. <sighs> Hello, darling. Finally meet Mom. Are you okay? Okay, I... Just want to make sure everything's working right. Don't want uh, this. Anything going wrong with this one? I'll be fine. I just let my emotions get the better of me. What do you mean? You wouldn't understand. Ow. Oh. Right. Uh, no, no. What I mean is, this place holds a lot of memories for me specifically. I thought I was in control, but you heard me. I sounded like a petulant child. I thought you sounded fine. You were just speaking from your heart. And that is precisely the problem. I should have just stayed in line. I guess you're right. I don't understand. Oh, just... They both need hugs. I'm sorry. They both need hugs. Party, I'm afraid I'm not feeling well. Um, it's okay, Mom. It's fine. What are you doing in your father's office? Just looking for something I left. It's right here. Left. You left. I need to use father's computer. Why? Because I think he may have done something. Something wrong. I thought we all simply assumed that at this point. Yes, well, some of us are trying to do something about it. <laughs> oh! 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 Oh, that! He started locking his home computer. But... He still has blind spots. Spy on him? You put a camera in here? I put them in every room of this house. For our safety, in case I ever need to... Do something against him. You have to come back to stay, have you? <gasps> Does that mean she has a recording of what happened with Good. Watts? God damn, so much emotion in that war. Or Jesus a Christ. Man came by. 
I'm afraid your father may be involved in something more dangerous than he realizes. Oh boy, yeah. No matter what happens, Weiss, please don't forget about your brother. Whitley wants nothing to do with me. Of course not. You left him alone. Yeah. With us. Like, look, Whitley might be a little shitly, but... He's... It's understandable why he became a shit, and he's still young enough that you? he could change for the better. Oh! Oh, hey, it's the, the big thing of uh, Neon and, uh... I came funky. What the hell's going on here? Oh no. Oh no. On one hand, what they have here is good, but it could be better if they get more time. We can have more stuff. It just it feels like you're stretching shit out when you, you take when you take what should be one episode and turn it into two, and that's what it's feeling like. That was understandable in the early seasons, but and in hindsight, volume five because of the whole uh, apparent. Uh, uh, money that was being siphoned to gin loss. And four, a little bit, because uh, is... Well, no, not four. Well, four, because they uh, just made everything for the first time for this thing. And yeah, they made a lot of things anew for this as well. But still, they've grown since then. I'm just like, ah. Oh. Right, so... I just want to punish that statement when she said good and was crying. Like, when her mom said good and was crying. Like, you can tell, on one hand, she loves her daughter. She cares a lot about her. Harper wants her around, but also, you know, wants him. But, you know, also understands that her not being there is good for her. But, but good for her. And her coming back would be very bad for her daughter, but, and as she, yeah, lots, like, look, Whitley is a shitly, but he is as much of a victim as the others. He, his, uh, uh becoming a mini-me to Jakku's, yeah, that makes sense. A bit of a sub survival mechanism. It means he's the one who gets treated the best. It, it's not really Weiss's fault, because she's just as much a victim of, uh, Jakku's, uh, bullshit, too. Or Winter. But, it doesn't make any less true. Ah, lots of people are going to be cheering from that. Oh, God, but... <sighs> That moment when she said, at least some of us are doing something about it. And her mom took sweet, like, oh. <sighs> and that moment between Winter and Penny, I'm like, I just repeat what, I, what I've been saying. Everybody needs a hug. Let's just, uh... Let's 
seed. Willow Schnee, yep. And then there's that thing with Watts where he's turned off the heating, which isn't that what the Schnees do? Oh. Which makes sense. But, wait, given where Mantle is and everything, that's killer. Fuck! Seriously. I do give him points for holding to the pattern of episode ends with ba bad shit happening. Jesus, fuck. Is this Watt stabbing... Jock in the back, because, you know, that is what they're supposed to be managing, but their heating shit going down makes the Shinies look bad. And he helped him win. Which means morality that will be even lower up. Oh, you really did not think this fucking through, Jock. You fucking piece of shit. I mean, the good guys will finally know about this. And they'll have enough evidence to put him down. And finally get rid of that asshole. Like, ugh. And I do like the fact that, you know, it... Their mom at least did something to try to protect them in case he ever went too far. Or way too far. Because obviously, he went too far anyways. Ugh. So, uh, I will say this. You you've heard me, including this time, constantly rant and rave about how uh, yeah, and how much I don't like, uh, most Ruby critics, so I'm gonna change it up and actually talk about one I like! Last Reflections. Not actually a Ruby critic. They're a anime critic who did a review of Ruby. Whereupon they criticize the show. More so than they praise it. But the difference is none of it's it, while there are things they get wrong, none of it comes off as malicious. And there are and they never go so far as to blatantly spew bullshit that could be disproven with even a fucking second of footage. And spew it like at the and a uh, indefensible fact or whatever, however you would pronounce that. Ah, it's like I don't agree with everything this guy says, but I still like the review because it's not mo. It doesn't, it isn't done for, purely for views, and isn't motivated purely by hate. In fact, the guy likes it, he just criticizes a lot, which, hell, I don't even disagree. I've been continually ragging on the episode link this entire time. I think the world building by now is fine, but I think well, volume one was horrendous. You knew nothing about the setting in any way, shape, or form. Volume 2 was a touch better, but most of that world building came from in the form of uh, the World of Remnant videos, which were better than nothing. And well, I did enjoy them. Not really all that good good when it comes to actual fucking world building. 
You know? It had problems. And it took until volume five. Yeah. For it to become fully integrated into the show. It was best done in volume six. But. And some of that's understandable in the beginning. Volume one had, had a lot of problems that couldn't be blamed on itself. And those continued into volume two and. But it is a problem the show has had. And even all that while, they actually did do some world building in the episodes of the show. And they got better at that to the point they didn't need the world of Remnant to actually do it. The fact they had the pre but the fact they had the preface volume four with uh, with the kingdoms series is yeah the fact that so many big details of the setting were just mysteries for so long like the show does have problems I will never say it's without problems it's not perfect but it is one of my favorites it, it, I mean, it is my favorite thing to watch, and I love it, but I just don't, and because I, I can't stand it when people are making complaints that aren't even found, founded in anything. You can have valid complaints about the show. You can have complaints I don't agree with, but are still at least understandable things to complain about. Why is it so hard for all the people who do it professionally? Whose entire YouTube career is dedicated to I'm a leaving Ruby and never coming back! Next volume. Anyways, I'm not out.